Hello everyone and welcome to Purple Rose Crafts. Today we're going to make this moss stitch dishcloth. It is this lovely uh, four stitch or four row pattern, very simple, nice knits and purl stitches, and it just gives this lovely texture uh, for a dishcloth. Let's do it. So today, to make our uh, moss stitch dishcloth dish cloth here, we're going to use our uh, Bernat Handicrafter in our 100% cotton yarn. And our, this is a four on the scale, and it's called Anchors Away. So it's a lovely uh, teal, gray, blue, and white um, yarn. And it's really nice and soft, and it, it just works up so lovely in a, in a dish cloth. So it's similar to the um, cloth that we did before, the uh, farmhouse style. Uh, we're using some knits and some pearls. This is kind of a combination of that first one that we did and our seed stitch that we did in a previous video as well. So we are also using our four and a half millimeter knitting needles. It is a size seven if you um, keep track of that way. And um, this is a pattern that I, I modified from another pattern. I just didn't really like the way that it was turning out. And really it didn't have anything to do with the stitch itself. The moss stitch is just so lovely. Um, I just really actually had trouble with the edges. Um, so I just didn't really like the way they were turning out. So I've actually added uh, four stitches of knit on the beginning and end of each row to give us this nice, lovely um, kind of garter stitch edging. Really, really simple pattern, just knits and purls. Uh, what we do is basically two knits, two purls and continue across the row. So I cast it on 40 stitches here because we need multiples of four for our moss stitch plus um, our edging was four stitches as well. So we left it at the multiples of four stitches. Uh, but here at the bottom, I probably would recommend doing a few rows of just straight garter stitch to kind of give it a little bit more of a border. You don't have to do that, but I just think it would it would probably look a little bit uh, nicer as well. But I do also like the way that this, this uh, this pattern turned out as well. So this has our, our braided, our, our twisted um, cast on that we did in a previous video as well, which I will link up in the up above and in the description below if you wanna watch how to do that. All right, so we're gonna start by knitting our first four stitches. And we're gonna do this in every row. I started out with four knits and then two purls, two knits, two purls, and so on throughout the pattern, okay? So we're gonna bring our yarn to the front, purl two stitches, and then knit the next two, and continue across our row. So that's our row number one. See, nice and simple. Similar to our seed stitch that we did in the um, scarf pattern, um, and our rib stitching that we did in a previous pattern as well. See, everything is very, very similar, making this a nice beginner pattern as well. All right, so we're gonna continue this across the row and, and then we'll come back with row number two of the pattern. All right, so we continue knitting in our knit two purl two fashion across the row, staying in pattern until we get to our last four stitches and then we're going to just knit those. So knit the last four on the row and then we'll turn it around and we'll head back. All right, and row number two is going to continue in the same fashion. We're going to work the same stitches back into them into the previous row so we're going to start with our knit four to keep our garter edge. And then these two are purl stitches. So our next row is going to start again with two purls. So the same as the first row, purl two, knit two, purl two across the row until you get to the last four stitches, which we will knit. All 
All right, so there we have row two finished now, and now we're gonna do row three, which is going to be the opposite. So we're gonna start with our knit four, and then because we did a purl two at the beginning of the last row, we're going to knit two. So we're gonna start with really knitting six, and then purl two, knit two, purl two across the row. So there's our four knits there, and then we have two more knits here at the beginning of the row. And now we're gonna purl two and then knit two more and continue across the row. And then on row number four, it's exactly the same as row two. Row two is the same as row one, and row four is going to be the same as row two as well. So we're going to work um, our stitches back across the same as we did. Oops. <laughs> Um, we're gonna work our stitches back across and that's it. So really it's just two rows, like two rows and you repeat each one twice um, when we start with our 40 stitches. So we're working with, you know, 32 worked stitches and then four on each side for the garter section. I've included the pattern for this uh, ditch cloth below. Um, it is the one that has the um, garter edging. So if you want to do that one, so it is the one that has the garter edging. It, um, if you want to do it that way, you can. I would do four rows of garter stitching, just straight knits across your dishcloth at the beginning and end of your dishcloth pattern, um, and then start working your moss stitch in between. If you don't wanna do that and you do it exactly the way that I did, I cast it on and then just started straight into these rows as I have given them to you. So. Um, you can do it either way. And honestly, I would love to see your designs for this dishcloth. Hopefully you can see that pretty well, that popping out of the stitching. And our 40 stitches turned into this nice, lovely zigzag pattern with our blue, our dark blue. And then of course our light blue um, goes across as well. It just turns out so nice. So that's it for our second knit dishcloth video. It is the moss stitch. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you um, want to see more dish glass videos, give me a thumbs up in the comments below. Just comment with a thumbs up emoji. That would be awesome. And uh, we will make more dish glass videos. Um, if you jump over to my Instagram page, I've posted a poll on my story. It's at purple.rose.crafts. And I've posted a poll in my stories. Um, about which um, granny square you guys would like to see next, um, which we will post next week in the next video. Um, so tell me which one is your favorite between the two that I've posted and, uh, you know, and I will make that happen, okay? Um, thanks so much for, for hanging out with me and uh, we'll see you in the next video.